We traveled to the Kawartha Highlands Provincial Park to do a weekend canoe trip. Starting at Ann Struther Lake, we paddled north, portaging onto Rathbun Lake. From there, we portaged one lake over to an unnamed marsh. This brought us one lake closer to Copper Lake, where we stayed our first night. The next morning, we did some creek travel over to Serpentine Lake, the trip's namesake. A kilometer and a half portage later took us to North Rathbun Lake, where we stayed our second night. The next morning was an easy paddle back through Rathbun Lake and Anstruther Lake, bringing us back to our car. We just got to the start at Anstruther Lake. Um, it's just a two and a half hour drive from the GTA. Seeing some nice fall colors out here and we're ready to do the Serpentine Lake Loop. But we're just getting hit with a bit of a slight sh sun shower right now while the uh, last boat gets prepared and then we're ready to head off. gorgeous out here. I don't know if you guys can see the colors, but we're enjoying it. The rain's coming. It's on and off, but uh, so far we're just happy to, to be out here still. And we're hoping to get to our campsite in the next couple hours. It's not too far from Kyle. Maybe another hour and a half, two hours. A couple portages in there. So we're looking forward to it. So we're on the first port touch of the trip. Um, coming just over the portage at the dam at the start of Anstruther. Pretty nice portage and pretty nice leaves this time of year. Barrel and pack. So we're just coming up to the second portage of the day after a little extra paddle of some uh, map leniency on everyone's behalf and deciding to just go for it. Which obviously always the right call is to double check the maps. And probably have like two or three hours of sunlight left. But we'll get there. Here we are at the, the waterfall in between Rathburn Lake and Copper Lake. We're staying on Copper Lake tonight? Yep. Yes, further up. And uh, we're happy that was our last portage. We're just going to enjoy the paddle over. It's getting a little bit later in the day. The sun's going to set in a few hours. It is 5.45. Oh, we got to get cracking. Yeah, we got to get cracking. Uh, but for now, it's a pretty cool little gem we got here. Yeah. 
Cinematic masterpiece. We got myself thing. Another up to five way to go. It's just uphill, eh? Don't do the same thing down. It's just full weather. The water's still You know, it's a strict 6 a.m. wake up. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's an actual Yeah, sleep, true. Man. Fuck, I forgot. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's I think we're on Copper Lake. We just finished prepping up uh, food for dinner and got a fire going after a couple of false starts and some innovative uh, fire starting ideas, strategies. Um, fortunately, we do have our pot and pan so we can actually cook over fire. Uh, there was a, some concern about having to do everything over a stove, which is great from a convenience point, but one is not environmentally friendly. And two, we don't have enough fuel, so we would have run into a problem one way or another. What high. Canadian iconic animal did we just see? A beaver almost attacked us. No, no, it snuck up on us though. Came back to our campsite after collecting wood and the thing was just munching on some grass or some leafy greens uh, right next to our fire pit actually, which was kind of cool. None of us had ever seen a beaver that close, especially out of the water, and we're talking like 10, 15 feet. Uh, so it's definitely a pretty novel experience. Uh, definitely, definitely good to see. Um, kind of surprising though that it was that relaxed around us and it kind of just pattered off without really any surprise or like frustration on its part. It just seemed totally content. Um, I don't think we've had a late night like this. I mean, a, a late night cooking like this in quite a while. So it's been kind of nice to have a bit of a change of pace in terms of cooking food, basically in the complete dark with the exception of uh, I think one and a half headlights. Um, and a quarter. Cams doesn't really work. That's so dark. Hi everybody, and welcome to Cam Cooks Vegan in the backcountry. Today we have a nice burrito setup. We have our nice four avocados, our green onions, our rice with mushrooms and peppers. And over here we have refried beans I made last night, which Whittle is a fan of, so we're happy with that. And what's and this? And we have two tor types of tortillas. We got spinach tortillas and, and tomato tortillas.
Aaron. So we're just packing up the tents right now at site uh, 236, I believe. Beautiful morning in the Kawartha Highlands Provincial Park. Uh, just taking down our tents, had some nice instant coffee and oatmeal. Not too nice, but good for the backcountry. And getting ready to get started on the day. Uh, I suppose it's about 10.30, 11 probably right now. Uh, had a nice and slow morning because uh, we're taking this weekend to have a good casual trip. And we're excited for a nice blue sky day. Yeah, we're good. You want me to climb over? Uh, yeah, if you don't, you mind just climbing in? Yep. It's okay? Look at all this loose shit. <laughs> Come on. Right, I'm not gonna let you hear the end of that. Don't trip me on video. <laughs> so we're just on the 200 meter portage. Um, after that little creek swampy area on the map. Um, not as long as it seems when uh, you really uh, zoomed in on the map, so pass by that really quickly. One quick beaver dam to hop over on there, and a muddy uh, takeout for this portage, but only 200 meters and then on to the next one. Look at what we come into. Some pretty gentlemen standing around and boats loaded. Looking pretty. Just about to start the portage to North Rathburn from Serpentine Lake. Uh, 
This portage is 1,415 meters, and we're just loading up, ready to get after it. And it might kill us. Uh, we're definitely gonna take breaks, but we're still gonna uh, do our best to one trip this one. Good shit, guys. Good shit. Right in there, too, right? Yeah, it's too safe. Yeah. So, we just finished yeah. up the 1.5 kilometer portage out of uh, Serpentine, and now we're in North Rathburn Lake. Uh, portage was pretty uh, clear, there were some alarm bells. Uh, in some trip reports about being able to follow the portage properly. Um, but I think the park got a hold of those because there were signs throughout. Uh, so it was really easy to follow. Um, there were some pretty cool exposed rock ridges and um, a lot of moss. It's pretty interesting. Good trail to, to um, you know, keep you interested on. And now, end of portage trail is just over there. And we're just pulling to our campsite. So it's a late start and an early arrival for a good day on the water. So it's just about dinner time. We've been at the site for a couple hours now. Uh, we had PB and J uh, lunch. We all took a nice nap, well-deserved nap. We're all nice. a little tired. Thank you. And um, and we set up a tarp. We got a good old tarp job back there. Sweet tarp. Sweet tarp job. And uh, we're gonna try not to coastline ourselves and eat some rope tonight because there's a lot of rope. <laughs> stick around the campsite. Um, but for now, we're just cutting up uh, veggies. We're gonna have a sweet potato chickpea curry, another vegan specialty, uh, which I will show to you guys later.
Hey all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> Sitting around the campfire today, we're eating. Eating a chickpea curry. We're liking it very much. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and um, yeah, sun's just going like, down. That would be a better pair sure. Oh yeah, okay, fair enough. Oh yeah. The sun's just going down. Enjoying the last few minutes of uh, daylight. It's supposed to be warmer tonight, so we're looking forward to that. Otherwise, you know, just an easy evening. And uh, tomorrow, hopefully an earlier wake up so we can um, get to the cars before lunch. Just enjoying our last breakfast out here before we uh, head out this morning. Uh, we are on North Rathburn and we have two portages over into Ann Struther, which is where our car is waiting for us. Um, it rained overnight, but it didn't get quite as chilly as the previous night. So I was quite happy with that. Um, but we are just sitting here enjoying the last few moments of relaxing before we get going. We have an oatmeal breakfast with raisins, brown sugar, and peanut butter and some coffee. Yeah. Decision and power. Is that right? Okay. You just didn't even tie your boots. No, I know I'm bad. You didn't tie my boots until first day. I don't even think the session needs to paddle today. I'm oh just... yeah, we got the powerhouse in the back. Absolute motor. <laughs> Just on the first portage of the day. Um, yeah, coming through feeling good on this one. Uh, I think it's about uh, 160 meters. And then we're gonna keep going. Making good time, not too far. Um, good weekend trip route. First Brian turn, then he carries the canoe. And then he does an effective cross out draw. What is it? Oh yeah. Grandmaster Canoe O'Brien. <laughs> Side of it on the left. Oh. Ten out of ten execution. So we're just coming down to the bottom of Anstruther Lake to finish up the Serpentine Lake Loop. Uh, all in all, it's been a great fall trip. Uh, highlights were the waterfall on was the waterfall on day one, which is really cool. Um, weather's been great; it only rained a bit last night, and I guess we're missing some rain this morning because it was supposed to rain. Um, but a great weekend 
loop trip trip option and nice and close to the GTA and a bit closer uh, to the GTA than Algonquin cut an hour off your drive um, didn't see too many people I suppose that's because of the close to zero temperatures at night but I'm sure during the summer that uh, every campsite will be filled up so it's probably better to come for an ice out trip or a fall trip.